What's up guys? So today I'm doing kind of a first impressions of a new keychain knife, which I am really, really digging. I think it's awesome. Uh, literally got this in a trade this morning, um, probably, I don't know, three hours ago or so. And uh, I went out, did a bunch of errands. First thing I did was pop it on the keys and uh, use it in two different ways. One, uh, hanging this uh, using the integrated uh, belt clip off of my uh, belt loop, which I used to use this for. Um, as well as I took it off and just put it in the pocket just to see how it would carry real quick. And so far, just in a couple hours, I really like it. I think it's really cool. Uh, I haven't had a knife on my keys for a little while, which, by the way, I will do another uh, EDC update soon. But anyway, I just wanted to do kind of first impressions on this. I thought it was really cool. This was a uh, Kickstarter knife. All right, you can see it's called the Prilobite. It's by Pangea Designs. All right, pretty uh, smart design as well. Let me zoom in here, take a look at this card. All right, so you can see G10 handle, S35VN blade. Did not cut anything with it yet, just uh, carried it. Um, safety lock hole, which I think is an awesome, awesome uh, design feature, which we'll, we'll show in a second here on the keys, because that's how I plan to carry this, is on the keys. It's like an added tool. All the multi-tools you see, all the keychain stuff, it's like if you have the room, why not integrate it? I can tell you I've probably only really needed to have a hex tool like once uh, that I can even remember, and I, I have them on pretty much all my tools, right? So it's just one of those things where you're not losing anything by adding it, but it's it's not like it's a commonly used tool. But hey, that's just my life and my lifestyle. Let me know down in the comment section if you happen to use your hex drivers and all your multi-tools all the time. So anyway, um, see also a bottle opener, which I do like the bottle opener a lot. You guys know that I, I like bottle openers in general. Uh, however, it did uh, hinder the design a little bit when carrying it loose in the pocket, which I'll talk about in a moment. And the bottom pry bar slash screwdriver. All right, you can read the rest there if you want. So yeah, there's the uh, little card that came with it. it. Came in this little box. Uh, also, when it was on Kickstarter, it also was uh, offered with this Night Eyes clip. So looking at this carabiner a little bit closer, all right, the Night Eyes one, but this is lockable, which is awesome. All right, so you pop that up in order to unlock it and then just turn that and you can feel it kind of click. It's kind of a soft click because it's plastic, but you can definitely feel that it's locked. Very cool. So I'm going to unlock this to show you that this hole in the blade and the handle allow this to be locked on the keys. So when it's on your keys, it's not going to accidentally open. That is an awesome safety feature, obviously, um, because if it was just a regular, you know, friction style folder or something, it wouldn't work out at all because it would just open up and you'd get cut or cut up your pants or whatever. So I really, really like that design a lot. All right. Very easy to pop that off. All right, once we have it off, we can see how this works. Just pivots. All right, again, did not cut anything with this yet. The S35VN feels ridiculously sharp. Uh, in fact, you know, here, I don't need the box anymore. Not a box person. Depends, I mean, certain eyes, I'll, I'll keep them. I'll open this up, do some, some quick cutting here. All right, there's enough of an edge in order to make some good cuts. All right, now, keep in mind, too, that this is not locking at all. All right, it's just a little friction folder, so what you have to do, obviously, is support the back here, okay, where the end of that pocket clip is. So when you get a grip on that, you want to be able to support that. Or you can do kind of a pinch grip. Do a little pinch grip, that's totally fine, too, to make your cuts. just depends on what you're cutting. All right, so, yeah, the S35VN is awesome. All right, um, relatively comfortable. You can see, and holding it up here, like I said, how I want to support it, um, there's a little bit of a hump here, all right? If you hold it back here, it's more comfortable, but I like to get, you know, up close on the blades. Holding it back here, it actually is even easier to keep that from moving as well, okay? It keeps it a little bit stiffer, but again, I, I have a whole lot of empty room in my hands. So here's a closer look at this overall. It is very, very smooth in opening it, all right? So out of the box, the pivot is adjusted properly, but of course, if it ever loosened up, you can tighten that up if you wanted to. Now, one of the reasons I like this design so much is because it does integrate a pocket clip into the top portion of the friction folder, right? So we're going to use this card to represent your pocket. Let's say you're slipping in your pocket, all right? Use this as a pocket clip, all right? Just in the short amount of time that I've used this, it does work totally fine. However, when you're lifting it out, first of all, it's kind of hard to grab. I had to use my tip of my finger to grab the tip of this pocket clip because once it's in there, there's not a whole lot. This is a very thin edge because that's also your... Uh, little pry bar slash screwdriver. All right, so like grabbing it like this, it's it's not very practical. So you kind of dip in, hold the back of the handle and the, the tip of this clip to pull it out. However, that little bottle opener, which I do like, I'm sure it worked fine as a bottle opener, that did grab the material on the pants, all right? 
So that's definitely something worth noting. Uh, the stiffer the material in the pan is probably the less that's going to be an issue. Um, but again, I'm not going to be carrying this uh, specifically loose like this in the pocket clipped. It's nice to have the feature, but uh, I was very interested in this to carry it on the keys. So the two things I liked about it is number one, the carabiner does go through the handle and the blade to keep it closed on the keys, which is very nice. But this clip is also replacing my clip that I've always loved since I got this thing. I have not taken this off my keys since I got it because it's just awesome. Most times when I uh, you know get out of the car to go somewhere, instead of putting my keys inside my pocket, which are bulky and uncomfortable and, and poke me in the legs and stuff, and not to mention scratch up all the gear and stuff I have in my pocket, uh, I like to just slip this through the belt loop on my pants. So this is literally replacing that. So I took this off the keys because I no longer need this for now. I will hang on to it because if I ever get rid of this knife, I will of course go back to this clip. So now the knife can't open up at all. All right, gonna pop this on the keys here. And then once that's on, of course, I can lock this carabiner as well. So regardless whether you like this knife or not, I would definitely say if you're into carabiners, if you haven't seen them already, because I haven't until I got this one, uh, Night Ice does have this little lockable one. Uh, just a huge deal because I really like these, but I, I stayed away from them because I literally had something that fell off of one of these before. All right, so I, I just didn't trust them anymore. But now they have little lockable ones. We'll see, hopefully that works out fine. So that's pretty much it guys. Just want to give you a first impressions on this little Prilo bite. Pretty cool design. Uh, I like it. So we'll see. We'll see long term. I don't think that this is going to unlock. Although the keys are bouncing around stuff. Who knows? Maybe that little thing gets turned. But I don't think it's going to fall off very easily. But I'll keep an eye on it. Anyway, that's it for now. Let me know down in the comment section if you've seen this. And if you got in on the, the Kickstarter. If you actually have one of these. What you think of yours. But it's pretty impressive. It's a very, very simple design. Uh, but I really, really like it. So that's all. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.